those of you that have been watching this channel for the past few months, you'll know that I've spent quite a bit of my time playing Lord of the Rings online. Most of this time I've spent solo questing, exploring, just enjoying this digital Middle Earth space that we've got in front of us, but not quite realizing what I've been missing. With the introduction of the new legendary servers, Angmar and Mordor, I recently re-rolled and started a new character on the Mordor server. I'm currently playing an elf hunter. I was a bit dubious because I'd already got a champion up to level 52 on one of the previous servers on Evernight, I believe. So starting again, especially in a game of that scale, always kind of put me off and felt a little bit daunting. I can honestly say though that I'm so, so glad I decided to start fresh on this new legendary server because let me tell you, it has been the best Lord of the Rings Online. No, actually, it's been the best MMO experience I've ever had, period. It's one thing to exist in a world that you have adored for years and sort of stumble across the odd person here and there also reliving their dream. But to be at a similar pace and a similar point in the game as hundreds of, and I'm not joking, hundreds of other players also playing the same content, doing the same quest, talking about the same quest, talking about similar interests, it just heightens that experience so much more. There are points throughout my solo experience on the non-legendary servers where I thought, oh wow, like that's really cool, like what a really intricate experience, and then revisiting that on the legendary server, surrounded by so many other people, classes, races, it's just unreal. It re I, can't, I cannot put it into words how cool it is to experience that. One of my like earliest fondest memories, I think I was questing in Nenhilis, and you basically have to, you're hunting wolves, it's like really simple. Whereas like notoriously when you're on a non-legendary server, you can just kill the, the enemies are always there. Like it's just super easy, you complete the quest and you move on. But I was quite literally running around this like lake area, trying to wait for these wolves to respawn because there were so many people playing that everyone was just slaughtering them so quickly and like, it wasn't frustrating in the slightest. It was just really, really nice to see. Traversing Middle Earth by any stretch of the imagination is wicked. Like if you're a fan of Tolkien, Tolkien's universe, it's just a really, really cool place to be and to walk through, no pun intended. But there are elements on, on these new legendary servers that you'll be like, I don't know, riding your horse or your mount around and you'll just be like randomly grouped up of other people that are all traveling to similar destinations. And it really does just flesh the whole experience. It makes you feel so, so immersed. I was a bit skeptical with the whole 64-bit client over the 32-bit because I was thinking, how much of a difference can it honestly make? Like, is the game still going to lag horrendously? And honestly, like, I don't know if I've just been lucky here because I'm only at level 12 right now, but I've not experienced if if at all any lag whatsoever there's been a few moments where the server's just been busy and like things are like slightly choppy but in terms of the typical low tro lag there's been nothing honestly it's been so so good as someone who was very much late to board the ship of lord of the rings online i never got to experience like the classic i guess beginning of what that experience would have been when the game launched the thriving world the the big community everyone questing doing the same thing. So I really feel like this is my opportunity now to play the game as it was intended. It really does do wonders to make the world just feel so alive and like you're, you're part of it and your character means something and you, you, you coexist in this ecosystem around so many other people. And for an MMO, let alone Lord of the Rings, but for an MMO, that's so, so important. Now, a couple of really early game changes that you'll notice, especially if you're playing on the legendary servers only, is the introduction of some of the wraiths that are scattered throughout Middle-earth. And some of these wraiths have got such unfair placements. Like, it's... It's, it's, I don't know what Stanley Stone games, if it was a bad day in the office, but putting some of these bad boys in solo instances when you're low gear can feel really, really rough. And even if you're not solo, even if you're out in the world and, um, for example, there's a there's a quest where you've got to go and recover a stolen bow. And if you go into the, the fortress where the dower hands are, there's a wraith that spawns near amongst six other dower hands and a commander. And like this wraith, even if you're like level 10 to 12, it's got like 900 to 1,000 health, and the damage these things put out is just insane. But with that being said, I've never turned away from 
difficulty like that, I've always kind of enjoyed a, like a bit of a challenge. I think Lotro definitely does benefit from the landscape difficulty that you can adjust. But I think if you're just playing at the entry level on like a non-legendary server, the, the game is fairly, you can pretty much just coast through it for the most part, providing you're not rushing too far ahead of the, uh, the book quests. But on these legendary servers, having the... I guess like these the sort of like pre-placed or maybe randomly placed wraiths that sort of pop up where you think you're safe it really does add kind of like a an element of like oh i don't i don't feel particularly like safer you're always kind of on your toes and looking around as i said at the start of the video i'm currently still at the recording of this video level 12 i'm level 12 elf hunter blue line spec never really played one um i really really kind of want to see how it fleshes out. I'm excited that the level cap is 50. I think it'd be cool to kind of chill there with other people and see what some of the end game at that time content's like with everyone involved. Um, but I guess this message just goes out to people that have like played Lotro in the past and have perhaps even like passed it off because you played for so long or tried and it's not for you. Honestly, right now, it's a fantastic experience. There, there is quite possibly no better time to consider either restarting Lord of the Rings Online or just starting all together. I'm curious to see what uh, your experience is, you guys in the comments, if you can just let me know, how, how are you finding things? How are you finding the new servers? Are they better? Are they worse? Are you enjoying the content? Are you not? Leave it all down below because it'd be really, really cool to kind of discuss and see where everyone's at. For the time being though, that will be the end of the video. I really do thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.